One of the most terrible things you can see is an animal in pain, something that rescuers have to deal with on a daily basis. Rescuers from reputable organizations like Hope for Paws, who focus on the rescue and rehabilitation of abandoned animals. But one such rescuer, Lorita, was in for a shock when she approached a German shepherd one day. What would happen when she reached the dog? And why was it so terrified? Welcome to Wonderbot Animals. This story began when Hope for Paws rescuers received a call from someone who had found a German Shepherd in the parking lot. Before continuing with this story, we suggest you grab some tissues because it's going to be an emotional roller coaster. The day was pretty grim when the Hope for Paws team received a call about a stray dog. There was a German Shepherd in a parking lot and it appeared that the dog was hiding under a car to avoid contact with humans. One of the rescuers on the team was the first to approach the dog. Loretta knew that she had to make the German Shepherd feel as safe as possible. As well as that, it was also a protocol measure to ensure her own safety. Loretta approached the dog and was surprised when the German Shepherd began to cry. During the rescue, other members of the team recorded a video that they later posted on their YouTube channel in which the dog was seen crying. That's when the lifeguards decided to bring the dog a cheeseburger. However, the dog did not seem too interested in the food, but at least this prevented the animal from crying as much as when they first arrived. The dog was unknown to the rescuers, which made them very cautious about what he was capable of. Had the dog attacked without warning? Loretta was desperate to help the dog, but she knew that it was essential to act with caution. It's no secret that you have to be cautious and patient with a scared animal. The dog was huge, which only increased the team's concern. Everyone realized that things could quickly get out of hand if the dog behaved aggressively. In most cases, a scared dog is likely to attack at any time. Therefore, whoever approaches it must be careful. Dogs, like most animals, can attack if they feel threatened. By pure luck, the team had decided to take a cheeseburger, which served as a brilliant tool to lure the dog from under the car. However, the team found it very strange that the dog did not come out of hiding after showing it the cheeseburger. All the rescuers concluded that the fact that the dog remained under the car was a sign that it was terrified of the team. In his experience, any stray dog would have rushed towards food without hesitation. However, the team had not given up yet. Loretta tried to put the lasso around the dog's neck without scaring it. When she realized that the dog was scared, she let go of the rope. She hoped that by doing so, she could build trust. The dog then quickly escaped from under the car, taking the rescue in a new direction. It got out and headed to an area between two buildings behind the van. Another team member, Eldad, took a net and placed it at the entry points of this small space. Eldad was stationed at one of the exits while Loretta waited at the other. The entire rescue was recorded by Eldad on his phone. In this video, anyone could see that these two rescuers were willing to do anything to help the stray dog. The dog continued to whimper and cry from his spot between the two buildings. Loretta continued trying to convince the terrified dog to come out of its hiding place. It was a horrible experience for everyone because the dog's moans and screams were difficult to listen to. The stray dog kept its ears down, which was taken by Lorita as an indication of how uncomfortable the dog was feeling. However, neither rescuer was in a hurry to leave the poor dog, which gave it time to calm down. When the dog finally calmed down, Lorita had no problem placing the trap around the German Shepherd's neck. The dog was still nervous, but did not resist. Once they successfully captured it, they planned to take it to the veterinary clinic. Lorita ensured that she was as friendly as possible and the team did everything they could to get the dog out of hiding. They knew they didn't want to scare the dog any more than it already was, so they let it move at its own pace. The Hope for Paws team had the experience to know exactly how to calm the dog. They uttered reassuring words, knowing that everything would have been more complicated had the dog been even more frightened by their presence. In the end, the team decided to call the dog Rain. This was the perfect name for the German Shepherd, since it had been found on a rainy day. 
The team still had some distance to go because the dog kept its tail between her legs the entire time, which was a sure sign of hesitation. After taking Rain out of her new hiding place, the team knew that this was just a small victory. The dog was still visibly petrified, still crying and shaking while the rescuers were around her, so they made sure they still handled her with care. Eldad decided to add another leash to the dog's neck as a safety measure. He stroked Rain as he added this strap on. The team hoped this would let the poor dog know that she was in good hands. Finally, she was placed in the team's cage. Before we continue with this story, like this video to help it reach 9k likes and subscribe to this channel. When the team saw Rain for the first time, she was extremely surprised and scared. The difference they could see now was enormous, which was reassuring for everyone. They were glad that she didn't cry or shake anymore, but she still howled and whimpered from time to time. The Hope for Paws team was very happy when Rain let Eldad pet her head. It was a great result for the team. From the dog's body language, she was still apprehensive and cautious, but at least she allowed them to help her. Loretta and Eldad headed to the team car. They could see that Rain was fully cooperating with them for now, but they also understood that this could change at any time. It was clear that she still didn't trust Loretta and Eldad. After much persuasion, the team finally managed to get Rain into her cage. It took them a while, but they finally did it. Once Rain was safe in her cage, the team was able to move on to the next step of their plan. They headed to the clinic. Going back, let's take a look at the person who got the Hope for Paws team involved with the stray dog in the first place. Carrie Linnell became concerned for the dog's safety and decided to call for help. However, the dog ran into the woman's arms once the team reached her. The team could see that Rain was already familiar with Carrie. It was also clear that the dog trusted the woman, which was a huge relief for the team, as Rain now felt much safer and protected with Carrie by her side. The team was happy with the dog's reaction to Carrie, and they wondered if Rain was showing the woman her gratitude. Whatever the reason, the team was relieved to see her calmer and more relaxed with Carrie by her side. One thing that was clear was that Rain simply wanted to feel safe. This could be due to the fact that she had previously suffered at the hands of humans, which was a plausible explanation for how scared she was. After everything the team had been through with Rain, her reaction to the woman was completely unexpected. However, she helped her remain comfortable while she was in the cage. She seemed almost completely calm at this point, which was a huge improvement. It was hard to say what had made Rain feel more comfortable. It could have been the sight of the woman who had called the team or the comfortable cushions covering the bottom of the cage. Still, the rescuers were happy with her mood. After Rain was placed in the cage, she seemed visibly calmer. In fact, she was the most relaxed the team had ever seen. She didn't complain or cry. This change was completely unexpected, but very welcome. She was indeed different. Looking at Rain again, Loretta was sure that the dog was smiling, not to mention also wagging her tail. It seemed like Rain knew that she was in good hands now. This brought great happiness to the team. As the team moved her cage to the vehicle, she seemed very curious about her surroundings, as well as much calmer than before she entered the cage. After the team put Rain in there, she was able to eat the cheeseburger they had brought. The dog was delighted with the food and very comfortable, indicated by the wagging of her tail. Once Rain was examined and prepared, it began to feel like a new chapter for the dog. There was no doubt that she deserved to live with a family that would love and care for her. She had already been through more than necessary, so she deserved a suitable home. It was hard to believe that Rain was the same dog as the one the rescuers had first set eyes on. She had changed completely. She was a loving and attentive dog who liked attention and cuddles. It was clearly Rain's first time at a dog spa. Eldad and Lorita realised that she loved every minute of her time. At the end of her dog spa treatment, she looked like a different dog, which was very comforting to see. First of all, Rain needed to relearn what it meant to be with humans. 
Her previous experience would not help her when the time came to put her in a forever home, so the team did everything possible to help her. Rain is now considered one of the most loving dogs the Hope for Paws team has rescued. The path to Rain's heart is definitely through tons and tons of pampering. She never gets tired of seeing them and her improvement has been truly remarkable. After the way Rain reacted to the rescuers, it was clear that she had not been placed in the right home. No doubt this had a big impact on the way she behaved. However, thanks to the rescuers, she is now exactly where she belongs. Most of the time, abandoned dogs end up in poor conditions, making it difficult to adopt them into a forever home. This poor puppy, Winter, was rescued and moved to a shelter. Soon afterwards, she became known as the least adoptable dog. She had no idea what she was in for. Winter was taken to Barks, the Baltimore Animal Rescue and Care Shelter in Maryland. The shelter spokesperson said, she was there without food, water or fresh air for a week. Winter had eaten away at the drywall. The rescuers at the shelter did not know if it was because she was hungry or an escape attempt. Winter was already an older dog and her breed is often considered scary by many people. Even though saving her would have taken a lot of resources and time, the shelter didn't think twice about helping her. Barks took her in and saw to it that she recovered. The rescue team realized that Winter was most likely part of a puppy mill where she was used for breeding. As she was a beautiful purebred pit bull, she was probably kept in inhumane conditions and used to produce as many puppies as possible. Winter's lower belly made it clear that she had had many pregnancies. She was a sad reminder of everything that had happened and the fact that she had been abandoned. It also meant that potential owners who came to see her were turned off. The shelter was not optimistic about finding her a home. The shelter shared that, due to her age, her belly is not something she will ever tighten. Females with these characteristics are usually rejected in our shelter. Winter was already six years old, which is equivalent to 42 human years. As it is, older dogs in shelters tend to be frequently overlooked. Pit bulls have often been mistreated and used for puppy mills and dog fights. NFL quarterback Michael Vick was sentenced to 21 months in prison for running a dog fighting ring. Unfortunately, many NFL players don't have a great track record when it comes to dogs. Another side effect of pit bulls being used so frequently in dog fights is that they have begun to have a reputation for being aggressive and unfriendly dogs. Pit bulls that receive good treatment and affection are kind, loyal and affectionate by nature. Despite all the odds against her, Winter was ultimately adopted. Barks shared its happy tale of adoption in a Facebook post that said, The beautiful Winter is a dog who has spent most of her six years of life falling into sad and unfortunate situations. She was found in an empty property on a hot day, with no electricity and no windows open. She was dehydrated and very scared. Winter has a long, drooping belly probably the result of overbreeding, something we see all too often in our shelter. In June 2016, Barks received a visit from someone special. Two NFL players showed up with the girlfriend of one of them. At first, the two men seemed intimidating to those who didn't know who the football players were, but the employees softened when one of them said, we are looking for a dog that has been here a long time and may not be so adoptable. The NFL players who showed up were Ronnie Stanley, who plays offensive tackle for the Baltimore Ravens, along with his girlfriend Emily, and his teammate Alex Lewis, an NFL rookie. Shelter employees were delighted that the players were looking for a dog that was specifically less desirable to the majority of people looking to adopt. As Ronnie looked at all the unadoptable dogs, he noticed one that caught his eye. He overlooked all those undesirable qualities that bothered other people. Barks shared, dogs with those characteristics are often overlooked at our shelter, but not by Ronnie. Although shelter employees told Ronnie that Winter had a low belly, this did not deter him. His response was, well, that's what happens when you've had babies. Stanley never deviated from his initial plan of looking for a dog considered unadoptable. On an episode of Animal Planet Stars to the Rescue, Ronnie commented, being able to help a dog in need. I've always intended to do it. I told some of my colleagues that I wanted to adopt a dog and Barks was the place they suggested. 
Winter immediately approached Ronnie, running up to him and licking his face affectionately. He immediately signed up for the adoption class and brought Winter home. Barks shared a post on Facebook. We are so proud to have amazing guys like Ronnie as role models for the kids in our city. His one act of kindness not only makes adoption cool, it makes giving love to an imperfectly perfect dog manly. Alex Lewis was the companion who joined Stanley at the shelter that day. He didn't end up adopting a dog that day, but he was no stranger to shelter animals. Lewis volunteered at an animal shelter while studying and later volunteered at Barks while Stanley was enrolled in the adoption class. Although Winter now had a new owner, her past was still there. Stanley decided it was time to start over, so he gave her a new name, Lola. He shared, I looked for one of their older dogs that probably hadn't been adopted. Just like I was chosen by the Ravens, I wanted Lola to have the same feeling of being wanted when I adopted her. Unfortunately, Lola was still suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, and Stanley was well aware of this. He made sure to do everything he could to help her overcome her problems and felt it was his mission to help her feel safe. With lots of love and affection from Stanley, Lola was on the road to recovery. Although Lola's situation has improved, Stanley knows and accepts that she may never be completely well after everything that has happened. She's fine with him, and he has even adopted a second dog from Barks named Zappa. He renamed him Rico, and the three of them are now a happy, loving little family. Have you ever adopted an animal from a shelter? Does your pet have a history that was more unfortunate than now? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and ring that notification bell for more heartwarming stories like this. See you next time.